right? But but so so we need to know a little bit more about this TPM 2.0. Can you elaborate on that a little bit more? Uh, what, why, you know, security, I got that, but is there a little bit more depth to it? Yeah, I mean, the easiest way to look at it is secure storage for the keys. Uh, so uh, by default, uh, Windows 11 is going to be bit lockered, right? So the hard drive is encrypted. Pull the hard drive from that dead computer and it's encrypted. So theoretically, if it's your laptop's lost or stolen or whatever, the data on it is relatively safe uh, outside of, you know, state actors and the NSA you can probably figure it out. But it's relatively safe with if you don't have that tpm module though you'll be required to enter your bitlocker recovery key which is 64 characters long um, they do give it to you when you first enable bitlocker like on windows 10 um, and it's it's this huge long key and before the computer will even boot into the operating system you're going to get a window that says enter your recovery key and it's absolutely awful to have to do uh, without tpm You'll have to enter that key every single time that you try to boot an encrypted computer. Um, and But with TPM, it has a module on the motherboard that stores that key, and it allows it to more or less enter it for you. Okay. Um, and, and But what it also does is it also kind of allows some tamper-proofing. So if somebody was to take that hard drive out of the computer and boot it somewhere else, it's not going to decrypt. Uh, it's it's you know it's gonna it's going to see that hey this device has been tampered with something's not right this isn't this isn't tied to the serial number or whatever identifier it's going to use and it it allows you to kind of secure the device in a couple of different ways. Okay, so that to me sounds a little bit technical and 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 it is, but I think the ultimate gist is that significantly more security and it sounds like it's going to help with a lot of compliance and regulation too, as well. Um, around the, the management of the data and the control of access. Uh, but but overall, so there's there's some real big security advantages and uh, and that's also really why you have to look at your hardware and whether the hardware even has that capacity to to have that you know functionality of the TPM.